What you need to know about text to 911. Susie Rosen Singleton, Federal Communications Commission. The FCC has been working on a proceeding regarding text to 911. I am here to give you an update of the latest activities and what text to 911 is about. Before doing so, I want to remind you about the current capabilities of text to 911, as you may wonder if you can reach an emergency call center by texting 911. Right now, you should not only rely on text for reaching 911. You should continue to make a voice, relay, or TTY call to 911. Although text to 911 is becoming available in more locations, it is only available on a limited basis in some locations across the nation. On August 8, 2014, the FCC adopted new rules requiring text to 911 services. The rules require both telephone companies that provide text communications and certain Internet Protocol-based text apps to be capable of handling text to 911 calls by December 31, 2014. In addition, the FCC adopted a third further notice of proposed rulemaking, FNPRM, that seeks comment on additional issues about text to 911, including the delivery of location information, support for text to 911 when roaming, and future texting services, such as real time text communications. The four largest wireless carriers, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon, have already voluntarily committed their companies to make texting to 911 possible in areas where 911 call centers have been prepared to receive texts since May 15, 2014. The FCC's new rules are designed to speed up the nationwide availability of text to 911, but this service is not available in every part of the country at this time. Although the rules make it possible for phone companies and Internet-based text apps to pass on text messages to 911 centers, now it is up to the 911 centers to begin using technology to accept these texts. The FCC Text to 911 website has a continuously updated list of geographical areas that have Text to 911 capabilities at transition.fcc.gov slash cgb slash text dash 2 dash 911 dash deployments dot pdf. Remember that for Text to 911 to be available in any given area, the 911 call center for that area must accept emergency texts. That is why the FCC adopted rules that require wireless carriers and certain other text messaging providers to send an automatic bounce-back message to consumers who try to text 911, where this service is not yet available. This bounce-back service has been required since September 30, 2013. For commission documents on text to 911, go to www.fcc.gov slash text 2 911. The commission encourages ongoing public participation in its rulemaking proceedings. If you would like to file online comments regarding the FCC's third FNPRM, please visit apps.fcc.gov slash ECFS. Click on Submit a Filing and insert proceeding numbers 10-255 and 11-153 before you fill out the form. The comments must be filed by October 16, 2014, and the reply comments must be filed by November 17, 2014. Again, for now, here is what you need to know. In an emergency, if you are deaf, hard of hearing, or have a speech disability, and text to 911 is not available in your area, use relay services, TTY, or other existing methods to contact 911. 
In most cases now, you cannot reach 911 by sending a text message. Although text to 911 is generally not available yet, the FCC will help to keep you informed about the progress of this very important service. For more information about text to 911, please visit the FCC webpage at www.fcc.gov slash text dash two dash nine one one or contact Susie Rosen Singleton at Suzanne S U Z A N N E dot Singleton S I N G L E T O N at FCC dot G O V.